What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett. I'm Lance. This is Rant R Us. Hey guys, please remember to like, leave a comment, share our videos, and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not Captain Marvel was even needed in Endgame. What do you think? I think they could have done a lot more with her. I think she was barely there. Yeah, I didn't understand that, but all the build up from Captain Marvel all the way to the end game and for her to show up for what, like two and a half minutes and kind of save the day, kind of not save the day. Uh, well, I know I was watching Cinema Berlin, uh, or I was reading Cinema Berlin, and there was, uh, what was that screenwriter's name? Was that his name Marcus or something like that? For Endgame. Chris he was, yeah, something like Chris something or Marcus. Like Marcus something or something, like something like that. Anyways, he was saying that the reason why fans probably would feel that way is because they wanted, they didn't want a situation kind of like in Justice League where you have the build up of all the teammates getting together and then all of a sudden Superman comes in. And uh, wipes the floor well, with everyone. He even said he even said they wanted it to appear like she was a part of the show, but like it wasn't like she was making a cameo. But that's exactly what she did. It's just like a little cameo appearance. Yeah, he didn't and want to listen to She was one. one and done, and she had the power. She could have saved everybody, you know. Yeah. Whatever. But, but but by weakening her, it, it just weakened her character all the way around. They didn't want to take away from the Avengers. Yeah. Right. And see, that's kind of the problem with all these teammates. You know, they are these teammate shows. Well, it's because you're you're always going to well, especially have that problem. and especially with Marvel's Avengers because mm -hmm. it's such a star-studded cast yeah. and somebody's always going to be in the yeah. front run. Yeah. Now without Iron Man, yeah, who's it going to follow? Thor. Well, you know, I know in like the Avengers, like the cartoon series, it's always like, oh crap, uh, Hulk showing up now. Now you're in trouble. No, it's yeah. like one of those yeah, things. It's but like, it's kind of like the polar opposite. It's even like yeah. in one of the adventure movies, yeah. they're like, oh, we have a tank. And he's like, we have a Hulk. Yeah, I know. Sometimes in the Avengers, maybe the one thing that I would say, I would prefer a tank over the Hulk sometimes. Because I feel like the Hulk is kind of, like he's like this ultimate I'd weapon prefer, that can be I prefer a tank over the Hulk we got. Yeah, I would actually too. But see, that's and that's for another video. Definitely. <laughs> but, but but yeah, that's that's kind of the way I feel towards it. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like Carol Danvers. I felt like they built her up to be something big, and then they built her up to be this cure all for all of it. But then when they got to thinking about, it, they're like, wait, this is about Avengers, and then we can't just have her come in and right. just save the day, right? And then. What would have been the, from yeah, what been the point know. of all these Avengers well, movies before? I don't, think, I don't that. think if they did that, they would have been able to, you know, kill off Tony Stark like they wanted to because yeah, she would I have mean, just saved the world or saved yeah. everybody. Well, everybody would have been like, well, who cares if he's dead? Because we don't we really got Captain him. Marvel. Yeah, we don't I know. Tony Stark, yeah. I mean, I mean, but then at the same time, when they build them up to such a high level, it's just, there's like this, there's this inevitability that they're just going to fall. Because right. they'll never be able to live up to the standards that they put for them. That's you true. Know, you know, that's kind of the way it was even with Rey in Star Wars is because, you know, they built her up to be like this, you know, this this person that could just go and wipe More out. Or like Batman know, and Lord. DC. Yeah. But with DC, it's all, once yeah. Batman and Superman show up, we got this. Oh, yeah, Batman. once Superman, that, see, that was my biggest problem when it comes to uh, the Justice League movies was every time... You know, you know, they spent you know, half the movie trying to build build up, uh, you know, the team, and then at the end of the day, all you, know, you need is Superman. Was, so yeah, what's the point Superman. of uh, Justice League if all you really need is Superman? Yeah, they've been wiped out but, uh, for Superman. You know, usually I'm a DC over Marvel type, mm -hmm. but in that regards, it's DC's kind of dumb. They get stuck on this. Superman see does, too. Uh, I agree with you. I, I will say Marvel did a little bit better at spreading talent out throughout the team than what DC did with Justice League. See, that's the thing that Marvel has done perfect right. compared to DC. DC. I hate to say it, yeah, but... DC has done this like continuity. This is, and that's universe. why Marvel's winning this war. Yeah. Oh, that is 
by far why they're winning this war. Because because what it is is DC will get this continuity, or they have this continuity uh, problem. Is you know you'll have a Bat Batman movie here, Superman movie here, and then a Wonder Woman movie here, but none of it really feels like recently in the they've real done that. Film. But for years it's been Batman, 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 yeah. Batman. Every now, every now and then a Superman movie, Batman, 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 yeah. Batman. But now you, they're starting to add like Aquaman in here yeah. and Wonder Woman in here. But, but none of but none of those things really ever feel like. I guess they tried with Green Lantern, but that was a, yeah, that was a, a joke. Dude. That was a dud. Which I will admit, I'm not as bad on Green Lantern as what most people are. Like I know you didn't like Green Lantern. I thought it was horrible. Like, but, but see, you thought like, it was the you, worst superhero movie ever made. But see, you like Captain Marvel. I thought Captain Marvel. I liked was, Captain Marvel. I thought I was, was, I was uh, interested in that movie from the time I pressed play all the way to the end. Just sounds up. See, I always have this problem when it comes to Brie Larson. I don't like her as an individual. And I, I don't, don't really, like her as... But I feel like she's too smug. See, I, I really like that's I haven't seen... See, that's my thing. That's the problem with me. I haven't seen much of her behind the scenes. Yeah. For me to be like, oh, she's a bitch. Well, but I, I loved her as Captain Marvel. I thought she was I thought she was a great actress in that role. See, and I kind of... I loved the movie, so... See, I kind of felt like... I kind of felt like... You know, her that's co-stars where, don't like her. I felt like she thinks that she's bigger than Marvel. That's where, where the other you ones and I are like with Marvel alone. With Marvel is I actually did like Captain Marvel. Yeah, but you gotta admit, you gotta admit, when it comes to the in the Marvel universe, the actors that play in Marvel, they are always trying to uh, fit into Marvel's kind of way. It's almost kinda like in the NBA with the Spurs. They're not the Showtime Lakers. They're you fit into a system. Well, you fit into with the Spurs. You fit into that system. <laughs> we don't want to get on this Spurs Man. Lakers. Yeah, but you get what I mean, though. <laughs> like it, it was like that. But I felt like DC is a bunch of divas to a certain extent. DC. I felt, yeah, I feel like DC is a little diva. But I feel like I feel like the only one that they have a problem with is Brie Larson. Thinking with that Marvel. she's bigger than Marvel itself. Marvel. That's the way I feel towards it. See, like I said, I don't know much behind the scenes. Like, I can't really judge on that aspect. I just judge on how she played the part. I feel like she made a good Captain Marvel. But see, I just feel like, I, I feel like when it comes to how they built her up, like they really did build her as this cure-all. And she should have never been built up as that. She should have just been built up... Kind of like, see, that's what, uh, well, that's could, what Marvel did with all the other ones. Marvel didn't make, like, they made it where, you know, well, yeah, we have a we have a, a, a Norse god, but yet he's not the cure-all for everything. But, There's people that's stronger. I feel like they needed a lead female character, and they couldn't put her as another side character when they already had Black Widow over there as a sidekick. I kind of feel like that, too. I, they couldn't make her a sidekick. They needed to make her a main superhero. See, that's... To compete... They had to make Captain Marvel the main super, superhero to compete with DC's Wonder Woman. Yeah. Well, I will say that... Yeah, but see, DC's Wonder Woman... Uh, what is her name? Margaret? Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, either way, she is... To me, the perfect Wonder Woman. Like I feel I mean, like she, looks she fits. The part. I feel like she fits the part. I feel like she's just a good actress. Like I enjoy. I I Wonder Woman was actually my favorite movie. I'm well, looking forward to Wonder Woman 1984. Know anything else she's been in? Cause I, no, I don't know. I don't know but see, I enjoy. But see, I, uh, another one is uh, uh, the the girl that played in uh, or the woman that played in a uh, uh, Harley Quinn. That's another DC one that I really enjoyed. Like I enjoyed. I didn't, see it. That yet. I didn't like. Watch it. I didn't really like the movie Birds of Prey, but I actually did enjoy her in Suicide Squad. Like I thought she did a really good job. Now I've seen Suicide Squad. She did good in that. I'll give you but, that. But but when it but what I'm saying is is yes you might can compare what? Carol Danvers to Wonder Woman in that regard that doing, they're trying to see, make that. But I feel like Marvel is trying to play politics. Real life politics in the movies, a little bit, but I and think I felt every, like that's what my she was the girl. I think everything does that to an extent. I think that's why they finally came out and made a Wonder Woman movie on DC side was to play into this I know. side of social justice that we're in now. 
And see, that's that's kind of the bad thing about kind of this SJW stuff because even if Marvel wasn't trying to do it, uh, that was the very first thing that Brie Larson wanted to do. Like, like she just went out there and was like, "You're a white male. You suck." I mean, now, see, she's like, all, I, you know, see, that's, that's, that's she, my thing. I'm all about women power. I'm not about this anti-male crap. Yeah, I know. I feel like there's a. I feel like there's there needs difference. to be a distinction. There should the way, be. There yeah. is. I mean, like you don't have to be anti most people, anything. Most you people, can just be for everyone. Most people, with common sense, know. Yeah. That there's a balance here. But the problem is, is studios aren't full of people with common sense. Clearly, look at I the Star Wars franchise. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. Don't get me started on that. Like, 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 how do you buy a couple billion dollar franchise and then just be like, "Hey, we're just gonna run this thing in the ground"? Yeah. Why? Why? But I all know. in all, I don't, I don't see how. But I think Marvel overall, I feel, I feel like Disney when it comes to Marvel has done actually a pretty good job. They overall. have when it comes to Marvel, but they screwed it up when it comes to Star Wars. Oh yeah, oh definitely, but, definitely the Star Wars. But overall, I I don't see that she was really needed in the end game. I don't think she was needed in end game. I don't feel like we even really needed a Captain Marvel movie. I see. I, I, I disagree with you on that one. I thought it was because and, and the reason like, reason why I say that is because all of the others were building up to end game. Now, one thing, like Marvel, like, one thing that doesn't make sense is minute. like if you go and you look at the list of the order you should watch them, Captain Marvel yeah. first, right? Why is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's so. Movie. So I don't understand why they made it that way for her to show up in Endgame. Like what? Yeah, it was years kind of, later, it, but she looks the exact same. Well, like you got ten years of Marvel movies, and then all of a sudden, like what six months before Endgame comes out, they're like, "Hey, what's this Captain Marvel movie?" And right. then it's That's like saying, made all of that. those other movies. Just Marvel's seem like bad about that. Useless. Marvel's bad about that. Look at the X Men series. Yeah, they go all oh, that this, actually, yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, let's go to first class and apocalypse and all that." Yeah, whatever. yeah, the backstory and things. I I get that, but I mean, I just kind of feel like you know you have this like continuity where that all these characters were building up to a specific thing, and then all of a sudden, right before you get to the very end, you're like, "Oh, well, we forgot we actually got this really really powerful person over here. Let's bring now, her in." All in all. All but all, then they didn't even do that right. I, I, like at least in DC. I'm a big fan of Captain Marvel, but all in all, I did not think she was needed no, in Endgame. No. I don't think her part in Endgame see, played I, a part in the finality of it. See, I hated, uh, I hated in DC when they in Justice League when they brought in Superman and they made him the cure all. But at least they went in there and did make him the cure all. I where, where, where? I understood making it to where Iron Man finally was the one to stop Thanos and save the yeah. day because he's been their yeah. front runner, yeah. runner from the jump. Yeah, but 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 see, I feel like Brie Larson when it comes to or or Captain Marvel, I kind of feel like her coming in there. Like I feel like they flubbed that one up because yeah, she was supposed to be kind of this cure all that could stand toe to toe with Thanos, but then. When they got to her, they're like, "Oh, well, we don't want to really make her See, that strong, well, because that we're going to be taken away from the other." Well, then you shouldn't have brought her in to happened. begin with. That's what I'm saying. They they wanted her to be that powerful, mm -hmm. but yet they didn't want to take it away from Iron Man. Let's yeah. be let's yeah. be clear. Uh, Marvel fair enough, is fair Iron Man. Yeah, fair enough. And they didn't want to take that away from Iron Man, so they cut back her role. And it made it, and they screwed it up because now it's like, why'd you even put her in the movie? Yeah, I agree yeah, with you on yeah. That. I, I literally, I, agree I, with you on I that. feel like. They flubbed up. Um, they flubbed up. I feel like they shouldn't even have had her because I don't. Really in Endgame. I don't know. I'm talking about just had a movie of her. Like make the movie after Endgame, but don't have. Maybe they should have made Captain Marvel a prequel to everything else. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, that would have been fair. But then people have been like, I guess people have been like, well, why didn't she show up? But they would have had a good reason because she's off doing her own thing. Well, they should have. They should, they should have never her, had the stupid beeper. They should have made her movie in the middle somewhere. You still bring her in to help us. Maybe but, even add a second movie to it or something where that it doesn't feel so odd that she just comes out left field and saves the day. Like, yeah, I mean, maybe have some build up to where I don't know. At least like, because they made it seem like Thor called her. To come save the day, or somebody. I don't no, know. it was uh, it was uh, what is his name? 
Who's the director? The director, Samuel Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was him that. It was him well, that. See, in, Mar- in Captain Marvel, it shows their kind of relationship yeah. again. Yeah. Now, another thing about that is how he always acted like him losing his eye was him doing some kind of. Yeah, I know. Badass with a cat scratch. Yeah, I know. Or something. <laughs> but which. We cannot stress enough how dangerous cats really are. Cats are assholes. Cats are. Cats are. And everyone that I knows know, that, I have three be a dog them. person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, not a cat person. But see, I've gotten that way in my older age. So why didn't why didn't Brie Larson bring the cat? <laughs> you can't be the thing I was here. Cat. Isn't that cat like size uh, out. isn't that like Samuel Jackson's like pet now? Didn't they like? Where didn't they do something? Almost kind of. Or felt, did somebody eat the cat? Almost kind of feel like that cat is almost kind of like a He Man's cat. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, uh, it's no. Like, <laughs> where, it's, where it's like, where it's like that's like his his main you know animal to ride on. But thing. yeah, we got way off topic here. I, but, I don't think she was in it. I don't. Yeah, not like, in that movie. I, I love Captain Marvel, and I will watch it again and again and again. I don't think she was needed. I don't think she was wanted. I feel like if they're going to bring her in, do it like they did in D.C. with two men, even though I hated it. I feel like do it that way. But, well, then, that that would, but then that would have completely have ruined the... Iron Man. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, no. well, it would have ruined All every movie that come before. So overall, you say no. For Endgame? Yeah. No. Okay. I still say Captain Marvel was needed. The movie Captain Marvel was needed. I say no on Endgame. I say no on Captain Marvel. I say no on Brie Larson. And screw your YouTube channel, Brie Larson. That's the way I feel towards it. Your YouTube channel like fail or something. Well, it's being propped up by really Hollywood. But either way, she just I don't know. I just don't like her as an actress either. either. So it's not it's not anything. But other than that. But either way, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's not needed. It's not needed in game. So, Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, be leave sure to leave us a comment. Yeah, leave like, us a comment. Like, share, share, and subscribe. And subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Down there at the bottom button. Too, right there. It's right down there. One of, yeah, one of those places right there. <laughs> Thanks, right, guys. guys.